What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, 10 like the TI is. Uh, I wanted to do this video after I heard something that really got me under my skin. I know y'all getting sick of that of this George Zimmer, Trayvon Martin bullshit, but the same as me when I. But when you find out something new, it really hits you what you find out. And what I find out, because you know, people know, I'm always looking at videos of. Paul Modi, Dick Gregory, Professor Griff, or Jesse Ventura, or Tommy Sayota. And I was watching the Dick Gregory video because I'm always watching, looking up his videos to see what he got to say because, you know, hey man, I need to get all the information I can get in the truth. And what threw me off was because I actually did one, did a video, several videos about Trayvon Martin, and one, in, one of those videos I did. I'll put a link to a video. The link to the video was a video of Dick Gregory talking about Trayvon Martin. It was a rally. Dick Gregory was talking about Trayvon Martin or how Geraldo was talking about how the reason why Trayvon got killed was because of a hoodie and how come his dad not like this is kind of funny. It's funny. When Trayvon died, his daddy didn't hear nothing. Didn't see no police tape. But here's something that y'all didn't know. That really spooked the hell out of me. And I thought this was off. Now, what y'all didn't know was. You know, when you watch a game. They got that halftime. This is what I'm getting from Dick Gregory. Now, we'll post the link. Or that video in the description about when he talks about this. <laughs> and uh, he's like, Trevor Martin went to the store. And at halftime, you know, when you got that halftime, that big time period before the game starts back up, right? Mm -hmm. Trevor Martin walks to the store, and it's about like 7.15. And Trevor Martin went to the store, and it's like, okay. And he got killed. The game didn't start to to 8 o'clock but he died at 7.15 7, 7 7.18 and and it's more fucked up as this nobody didn't know nobody didn't know this this is what really caught me off was this don't you know a month after Trayvon died, a month after Trayvon died, his parents, Trayvon Martin's parents, put a life insurance policy on him and they collected on it. A month after Trayvon's death, his parents put a life insurance policy on Trayvon and collected on it. That, that's, that's odd, ain't it? That his parents will put a life insurance policy on him after he's been dead a month and they collect on it. The same as where his parents sued the homeowners association and they won and nobody knew except for a paper down there, just one paper down in Florida printed that out that they won a lawsuit for wrongful death after they were suing the homeowner association down there. Now, now you got to think about this. Pants put a life insurance policy after his after Trayvon's death. Something don't seem right, does it? Something don't definitely seem right. Why would anybody anybody put a life insurance policy on somebody that's been dead for a month and collect on it that was his parents go down to go down to Florida and find that out like I said I'm gonna put two links in the description box breaking more and more down his daddy knew he was gonna die his dad his daddy knew his son was going to die. It seemed like it was a setup all along. It's like, oh, 
you probably say, oh, Afro Joe, you've been watching too many movies. Now, you got to remember, there's been real-life murders that was based off a TV show. There's been people that tanks whatever that's in a movie or a TV show and they bring it into reality. You got to remember that. Trevon died 70 feet from his daddy's house. They didn't hear nothing. They didn't see no police state. And and to tell you this, to tell you this, this is more fucked up. Did y'all know when his parents went down there after three days, after three days they didn't know he was in the moor. After three days he was in the moor. And you know how they do when they find somebody with no ID on they label him as a John Doe. Did you know when they went down there, they went down there to claim his, Trayvon's body, and they knew that was their son. Don't you know his, they still put him down as a John Doe. They still put Trayvon, Trayvon Martin as a John Doe. Why would you, why would you keep a dead body that's been recognized by the family or by friends? And you still label as a John Doe, and they know who that is laying on that table. And it's getting funny that the, after the whole Zimmerman and Trevor Martin thing, that the, the truth is starting to come out even more. Uh huh. Uh huh. The truth is coming out even more. And it's really mind boggling that this is really going on, and people don't understand it. People ain't picking that up. People ain't realizing what I'm saying, What what is out there hidden in the shadows they only see what this come to light to me I still think Zimmerman should go to jail now think about it. look what Zimmerman just did trying to kill his estranged wife trying to kill his father-in-law and his and his strange wife is about to pop and tell her all, all what really went down about Zimmerman Ain't that a coincidence? That, 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 that. So, see, see what I'm saying? Funny little things coming out. For these funny little things come out. That nobody knows. Little things are popping out. It really, it's really show, showing up. And, and, and it's mind boggling to to see this that his parents put a life insurance policy out on Trayvon Martin after his death he was killed 70 feet from his house and they didn't and his father didn't hear a damn thing or see police tape they were ready three damn days to tell his parents that he's dead why wait three days like for real that big ass gap between the day he died and the day he his parents picked up claimed his body. Three days. Three days. They they would have been looking for who uh, who uh, who this boy was that day when he died. Seventy feet from his house, and they still put him down as a John Doe, even though his even though his family claimed his body. And like I said, man, you, I know y'all getting sick and tired of hearing about Trayvon Martin, but when you hear more things coming to the light, what do you do about it? You can't look away. You, you keep looking at it. It's like, look, it's like reading a book. You read a first, it's like reading a thick ass book. You read the first few chapters and you get sick of it. Then when you flip the page and you start reading it more, the story gets interesting. That's how it is. You read a few chapters and the chapter you just read is done. You flip to the new chapter and you start seeing something interesting to read. And that's how it is. Parents put a life insurance out on it after his death. They still put his name down. They still put it down as a John Doe after his parents uh, claimed the body the parents sued the homeowner association 
down in Florida, but only one newspaper knew about it. Something is not right here. And like I said, I ain't thank God I've been watching. Pa, uh, Paul Moody, Professor Greg, Dick Gregory, Jesse Ventura, because one thing is, that's why, and, and plus Dr. Umar Johnson, those are the people y'all need to start paying attention to because one thing is, you go missing out because there's people that's telling you the truth. Same when I did the the comedians five entertainers video telling the truth. Five entertainers just telling the truth. And I mentioned Christopher Titus in that. And I'm telling you, pay attention to what you see. Pay attention to what's in the dark. Because what hides in the dark is going to come to the light. What hides in the dark will come to light. And why would the fuck would you put a life insurance policy on your dead child after they've been dead for a month and collect the insurance? And I'm sitting here and I've seen videos, certain videos of people saying Trayvon Martin's father uh, sacrificed him for fame and fortune, the Illuminati. And I kind of scratched my head on, I kind of laughed at it. I said, what does the Illuminati got to do with him having his son killed just to collect some insurance that he put on him after his death? That doesn't make sense. The Illuminati has no connection to this murder. And I kind of look at it. And I've been getting, for the uh, for last few, like, all today and yesterday, i am be getting a little comments. i am be getting comments. And the comment that really threw me off was, uh, that was mentioned to me in one of my videos about Mark Olsenman. Awesome man, or something like that. And it kind of threw me off what I read. I was like, okay, this guy must be crazy out of his head. I ain't really like. And I was like, something's really going on for a guy to throw me off like that. And I read this guy comment, and uh, oh, here it is. Here's what the guy said. His name, I'm, I'm going to show you what the guy said because one thing is this really got me fucked up. I ain't going to talk bad about this person. His name is Jose. This is, like, let me show you what the name of the Mark Olson and Zim is, is my best friend. Now, this is what this guy said. I'm not going to lie to not to you. This is really showing me. It says, Mark took part in the covering for George Zimmerman. He took part in the chasing Trayvon. Proof is in Jennifer... Laura, 911 call, one, one minute and 44 seconds into the call, George yells out, Mark. George yells out, Mark. And, and, I'm, and I sat there and I'm, Sit there and I kind of sat there and I thought, I was like, I talk, I did videos talking about Mark Osman had something to do with that because it was kind of odd. He goes on national TV talking about he he's police officer. George Zimmerman is my best friend. I knew it was a fucking cover-up. I knew it was a fucking cover-up, man, because one thing is, this dude had everything. Like he, the police officer, well, it doesn't matter what branch you're on. Marshal, state, I mean, trooper, or police, or sheriff. He's still part of the law enforcement's branch. And I sit there and I'm, I'm sitting up there and I look, and I thought about it when the guy said that, and it's like, you killing me. I said, you're not kidding me, but I said, like, you for real? I said, like, you tell me that Mark took place in the cover-up and I knew something was kind of off. I was like, this guy has something to do with the cover-up. This guy has something to do with Trayvon's death. 
because it don't seem right that he's on national TV promoting a book. Zimmerman is my best friend. And he's making money off of it. I say something ain't right when he promoting a book he wrote. Because ain't nobody going to be saying with Frank Tanford going on the Nancy Grace show. Didn't make no sense. He spent more time in the media than the whole damn story. Now you got to get your players in place. Get your players out there and even Joe Oliver. Now this fun, this fucker right here. Joe Oliver. Zimmerman kills Trayvon Martin. He quits his job. Quits his job. Pick up on this man. Somebody pick up on this. Cause I'm ten like it is. I'm laying the cards out for y'all in place. He quits his job just to support Zimmerman. Like I see it about him. Why would anybody quit their job just to support somebody to kill somebody? I can understand to quit your job to search for a missing person. For a missing person, I can understand because the person's missing. But for somebody to but for somebody to kill somebody, I don't get it. I don't get it. I wouldn't quit my job. I would not stop supporting my family to support somebody to kill. I'll be there. I can support them when I have the time. But for now, I got to work to take care of my family. I wouldn't quit my job just to support somebody and say, oh, I support him 100%. And he's in front of the camera just as well as Frank Tanford. Frank Tanford is in the media more than the whole damn story, and nobody didn't say nothing. Nobody didn't say nothing. There's been uh, there's been cover stories. Frank Tanford. Frank Tanford. And this is messed up. Frank Tanford has been in the media more than Trayvon Trayvon's family. And that's kind of odd in his that he's in the media more than the victim's family. Then you got a police officer showing at the crime scene. Well, you can say he's not popo, but yes, he is if he's wearing a badge. He can be troop, marshal, or troop, uh, tr uh, state trooper, marshal, police, so on and so forth. That's still the law of branches of law, law enforcement. And like I said, the guy system tells me he was in the phone call in the background with Martin. When George Zimmerman yells out, Mark, he was there. I knew he was there. And ain't nobody picked up on these stories. They forget all about Mark Oseman, John, I mean, Frank Taffy, Joe Oliver. Oh, ain't it? And y'all ain't, y'all ain't picked up the pieces yet? Like I said, it's not a race thing. It's something else. Parents put a life insurance policy on them after his death. Come on, y'all gotta come better with that. Why would he put a life insurance policy on somebody dead for a month and collect on it? Then sue the homeowners association and win. And only one newspaper out of Florida has printed that paper, has printed that story. And finding out that, and finding out in a in a um, 911 call, you hear Zimmerman yelled out Mark's name, and you have another friend in the media more than the victim's family. Then you got another friend sitting up there saying he quit his job just to support. Something ain't right. They giving too much information away for free. They giving too much. They actually setting themselves up. And I thought that was kind of strange. He goes on national TV. Oh, I quit my job just to support Mark, uh, George Zimmerman. Oh, Zimmerman's a good, good friend. He's not a killer. Trying to kill his wife and his father-in-law. You tell me something I don't know. Then Zimmerman's trying to become police chief. Something ain't right here that this boy did not get no justice. And these are the key players. These are the few other key players. I mean. 
and ain't nobody nobody putting these pieces together like I am George and his wife sitting up there about to tell everything she's about to tell everything she so she showed up showed I mean she showed up for Z, uh, Zimmerman's trial but when it came for her turn to get tried for lying about having money he ain't there now what's going on was she's gonna actually tell it, the whole nation what really happened just watch just watch she gonna spill the beans on the whole damn thing yeah. and I'ma tell you this she gonna say Mark Olsman had something to do with it Frank Taffy had something to do with it Joe Oliver had something to do with it just watch her tell it all that they had something to do with Trayvon's death just watch and his parents oh my god for real put a life insurance policy on your son after he's been dead for a month and collect on it boy ain't been dead been dead for a month you can put a life insurance policy out on it and collect on it life insurance policy that's bullshit yeah. Now I want y'all to tell me what you think about it. What you think about it. Did you think that his family was out the, out the wrong sitting up there putting a life insurance policy out on Trayvon after his death and collect on it? Because, because the one thing about it is you don't wait till the person is dead to put a life insurance policy on them and collect on it because it's against the law and it's actually uh, extortion something like that. Second thing is your son died a month. He's been dead for a month. Why wait a month? Why wait a month? Pay attention to some of these people that post videos about Trayvon's daddy has something to do with Trayvon's death. I bet you what half what they half of them say is true. That Trayvon's daddy has something to do with Trayvon's death. I bet you scared the shit out of you. Like I said, I'm gonna put two two videos of Dick Gregory telling like it is in the description box one is when he did a rally uh, he did a rally in uh, in March of 2012 and another one is like few and another another video is where he's talking about it a few months ago now I want y'all to watch them two video links and you really come back and leave a comment on this video and tell me what you think. Pass this video to your friends, tweet it, tumble it, whatever. Put it on your Facebook. Watch the two Dick Gregory videos. Then rewatch or rewatch this or just leave a comment telling me telling me what you think. Don't sit up and say, Joe, you crazy. No. Pay attention to what I'm telling you. Tell me, pay attention. Ain't nobody kid for real. Ain't nobody took a closer look on him, Mark Osman. Ain't nobody took a closer look at Frank Taffy. Ain't nobody took a closer look at Joe Oliver. Y'all bypass them fuckers like it ain't shit. Like when you sit up, sit up there and do an investigation, you just don't look at one person as the suspect. You look at everybody else that was in on it. You look at everybody else that was sitting though. Boy's been dead because his mom and daddy got fucking greedy. I still think Germany should be in jail. No, should be in prison. I'm for real. Now, well, this has been Afro Joe Ten like a TI is again. Find me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Find me on Tumblr. Find me uh, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. And tell me what you think. Holla at me.